Welcome to a journey of self-discovery and timeless wisdom. In this video, we delve into the profound teachings of Stoicism to bring you a morning routine that promises to transform your everyday life. With insights drawn from the likes of Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus, we offer you not just steps, but a philosophy that will empower you to face each day with resilience, purpose and serenity. Stay with us as we explore these tenets that have stood the test of time and learn how to apply them to your modern life for clarity, strength and fulfillment. Whether you're well-versed in stoic thought or just beginning to scratch the surface, this video is your gateway to cultivating a life of virtue and wisdom. Remember to like, subscribe and engage with us in the comments below as we embark on this transformative path together. Now, let's begin our day with intention and embrace the Stoic way. 1. Find your Ikigai, discovering purpose in every morning. In the hushed serenity of dawn, when shadows retreat and the world is yet unspoken, we are called to ponder our Ikigai, a Japanese concept that translates to reason for being. It is a quest not for the faint of heart, for it demands of us a confrontation with the very essence of our existence. To find one's Ikigai is to engage in a dialogue with one's soul, to inquire of it questions that stir the depths. What ignites my passion? What summons my vigor at the break of day? What craft can I bestow upon the world that is uniquely mine? It is in these quiet moments of introspection that we may discern the silent whispers of our true calling. The Stoics, though they walked the earth long before the term Ikigai was conceived, embodied this pursuit in their daily lives. They sought arete or excellence, not just in grand deeds, but in the mundane, the ordinary, the everyday. For in the fabric of the quotidian they believed lies the thread of the divine. Consider the words of Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and emperor who mused, he who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. In finding our Ikigai, we strive for this harmony, a consonance between our actions and our purpose, a melody that resonates with the rhythm of the cosmos. As we embark on each new day, let us do so with the resolve to uncover our Ikigai. Let it be a beacon that guides us through the fog of life's distractions and uncertainties. For in its light, we find direction, meaning, and a wellspring of joy that fuels our journey from dawn to dusk. So, as the first light of morning paints the sky with hues of possibility, ask yourself, what is my Ikigai? Let the search for the answer shape your days, and in doing so, may you weave a life rich with purpose and brimming with vitality. 2. Prepare the night before, setting the stage for success. As the Stoics believed, the seeds of tomorrow's triumphs are sown in the quietude of today's twilight. To prepare the night before is to engage in an act of foresight, a ritual that aligns one's spirit with the stoic virtue of prudence. Fortify your mind by rehearsing your tasks, Epictetus might counsel. In the dimming light, lay out the garments you will don, arrange the tools of your trade, and script the blueprint of the forthcoming day. This is not mere organization. It is a meditation, a deliberate crafting of the morrow's narrative. Seneca, with his eloquent wisdom, would remind us that the evening's preparation is a fortress against morning's disarray. Life's squalls are best weathered with a prepared mind, he would assert. By anticipating the needs of the dawn, we erect bulwarks against the chaos that daylight may bring. In this preparation, there is also a subtle acknowledgement of life's impermanence, a nod to the stoic practice of memento mori. To ready oneself for the next day is to recognize the gift of its arrival, to honor the cycle of time that is promised to no one. Thus, as night unfurls its starry canvas, take these quiet moments to reflect, to plan, to prepare. It is in these acts that we find the essence of Stoicism, the pursuit of a life lived with intention, dignity, and unwavering resolve. Let the night's calm be the crucible in which the steel of tomorrow's resolve is tempered. 3. Avoid morning distractions, embracing serenity. 
In the Stoic's pursuit of tranquility, the morning is a canvas of potential, unmarred by the world's relentless barrage of distractions. To embrace serenity is to engage in an act of self-preservation, to shield one's inner citadel from the siege of external trivialities. Keep thy attention focused on thy own sphere, Epictetus would advise, urging us to maintain a steadfast gaze upon our own thoughts and actions rather than the tumultuous sea of external affairs. The morning, with its pristine quiet, offers a sanctuary for this practice. Seneca, too, would extol the virtues of a serene start. The dawn, untouched by the clamor of the populace, bestows upon the soul a peace that is seldom found in the hours that follow. He understood that the purity of the early hours is a rare gift, one that should be cherished and protected. To avoid morning distractions is not to shun the world, but to approach it with deliberation. It is to choose with care the first inputs that will feed our minds, to select the nourishment that will sustain us through the day's endeavors. In this choice lies the power to shape our experiences, to cultivate an inner garden that blooms with tranquility. Thus, as the new day beckons, let us turn away from the siren calls of our devices, the allure of idle gossip, and the seductive pull of procrastination. Let us instead immerse ourselves in the stillness, the calm, the quietude that the morning offers. For in this space, we find the clarity and calmness of mind that is the hallmark of the Stoic Sage. Four, wake up consistently the power of routine. In the Stoic philosophy, the discipline of routine is not a shackle but a liberating force. It is the rhythm to which our days dance, the steady heartbeat that pulses through our existence. To wake up consistently is to honor the natural order, to synchronize our internal clock with the world's timeless cadence. Regularity breeds familiarity, and in familiarity there is comfort, Epictetus might have said. By rising with the sun at the same hour each day, we attune ourselves to the universe's grand symphony. We become a note in harmony with the greater melody. Our actions a testament to the stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature. Seneca, with his keen insight into the human condition, would likely have extolled the virtues of a consistent wake-up time as a means to cultivate the mind. It is in the quiet dawn that the mind finds its sharpest edge, he would argue. The morning, uncluttered by the day's demands, offers a pristine opportunity for reflection and learning. To wake up consistently is also to practice the stoic principle of self-control. It is a daily reaffirmation of our mastery over the self, a declaration that we are the sculptors of our fate, not mere subjects to the whims of circumstance. As we rise each day to the promise of a new beginning, let us do so with the steadfast resolve of the Stoics. Let our consistent awakening be a ritual that grounds us, that prepares us to face the day's challenges with equanimity and grace. For in the embrace of routine, we find not monotony, but the freedom to pursue our highest ideals. Five, take it easy, embracing self-compassion. In the Stoic tradition, self-compassion is not a sign of weakness, but a profound strength. It is the understanding that to err is human and to forgive oneself is divine. Be gentle to all and stern with yourself, Marcus Aurelius advised, yet he also implored us to treat ourselves with kindness. To take it easy is to recognize our own efforts, to acknowledge that progress is incremental and perfection unattainable. It is to accept our limitations, to be patient with our growth, and to nurture our well-being. In the soft light of morning, we are reminded that each day is a new opportunity for self-improvement, not self-criticism. Seneca, who understood the tumultuous nature of human emotions, would have us know that self-compassion is the antidote to self-inflicted turmoil. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality, he said. 
And so by treating ourselves kindly, we ease the burdens we often place upon our own shoulders. To rise each day with a gentle spirit is to honor the stoic belief in the interconnectedness of all things. We are part of a larger whole, and by being kind to ourselves, we extend that kindness outward. It is a ripple effect that begins within the tranquil waters of the self and extends to the vast ocean of humanity. As you embrace the day, do so with a heart that is light. Allow yourself the space to breathe, to be, to simply exist in the moment. For in these moments of self-compassion, we find the true essence of Stoicism, the pursuit of a life lived with inner peace and outward harmony. Six, small acts of discipline, building a virtuous life. The Stoic path is paved with the cobblestones of discipline, each small act a testament to the commitment to self-improvement and virtue. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit, Aristotle proclaimed, a sentiment echoed in the Stoic pursuit of a virtuous life. To engage in small acts of discipline is to recognize that the grand edifice of character is built brick by brick through choices that may seem inconsequential in isolation, but are monumental in their cumulative effect. It is the daily decision to rise early, to exercise restraint in indulgences, to dedicate moments to study and reflection. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king, would have us consider discipline as the crucible in which our better selves are forged. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice, he advised, suggesting that it is through our disciplined actions we distinguish ourselves, we rise above pettiness and spite. Seneca, with his pragmatic approach to philosophy, would remind us that discipline extends beyond the self. It is a social duty. Associate with people who are likely to improve you, he counseled. In seeking out and emulating those who embody the virtues we aspire to, our small acts of discipline are both personal and communal. Thus, as we navigate the currents of daily life, let us anchor ourselves with these small acts of discipline, let them be the rudder that steers us towards our stoic ideals, the quiet yet powerful forces that shape our destiny. For in the steadfast adherence to discipline, we find the freedom to live a life of purpose, integrity, and profound satisfaction. 7. Accountability Partners – Sharing the Journey In the stoic view, the journey towards virtue and wisdom is not a solitary trek, but a shared voyage. We are made for cooperation, like feet, like hands, like eyelids, Marcus Aurelius wrote, emphasizing the interconnectedness of human endeavors. To seek accountability partners is to embrace the stoic principle of mutual support. It is to recognize that our actions ripple outwards, affecting those around us, and that we, in turn, are shaped by the company we keep. Choose someone whose life, conversation, and soul-expressing face have satisfied you, Seneca advised. In selecting our companions, we choose the mirrors that reflect our truest selves. Delving deeper, an accountability partner is more than a confidant. They are a co-pilot on the flight towards self-mastery. They are there to remind us of our commitments when we waver, to celebrate our triumphs, and to offer counsel in times of doubt. This partnership is a fortress of encouragement and constructive critique, built on the foundation of mutual respect and shared aspirations. In the quiet of the morning, as we set our intentions for the day, let us also reach out to those who walk this path with us. Let us share our goals, our struggles, and our insights. For in the warmth of fellowship, we find the strength to persist, the courage to confront our shortcomings, and the joy of collective growth. As we forge ahead, let our accountability partners be the sounding boards for our thoughts, the witnesses to our progress, and the companions in our moments of reflection. Together, we journey towards a horizon of virtue, guided by the stars of stoic wisdom that have illuminated the way for millennia. 8. Memento Mori – Remembering the Value of Every Day 
In the Stoic practice, memento mori, remembering that we must die, is not a morbid contemplation, but a powerful motivator to live fully and virtuously. Let us prepare our minds as if we'd come to the very end of life, counseled the Stoic thinkers, for in acknowledging our mortality, we find a profound appreciation for the present. To delve deeper into this concept is to understand that each sunrise may be our last. Thus, we must greet each day with a heart full of purpose. It is a reminder to act with integrity, to speak with sincerity, and to love with generosity, for these moments are fleeting and precious. Marcus Aurelius, a paragon of stoic virtue, would often reflect on life's transience. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. This perspective is a clarion call to discard trivialities and to focus on what truly matters, our character, our actions, and the legacy we leave behind. Seneca too emphasized the urgency of life. It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Memento Mori serves as a stark reminder to use our time wisely, to engage in pursuits that enrich our souls and elevate our spirits. As we contemplate Memento Mori, let us do so with a sense of empowerment. It is an invitation to seize the day, to embrace each opportunity, and to live with the knowledge that we are the authors of our own stories, writing each chapter with the indelible ink of our choices. So, as you embark upon your day, carry with you the wisdom of Memento Mori. Let it illuminate your path, guide your decisions, and inspire you to craft a life that, when viewed from its end, you can look back upon with pride and contentment. 9. Practice negative visualization, preparing for challenges. In the stoic practice of negative visualization, we are not indulging in pessimism, but fortifying our resilience. What is quite unlooked for is more crushing in its effect, and unexpectedness adds to the weight of a disaster, said Seneca, highlighting the value of anticipating difficulties not to invite them, but to diminish their impact. To delve deeper into this practice is to engage in a mental rehearsal of life's potential adversities, it is to contemplate setbacks, not with fear or dread, but with a calm and analytical mind. This stoic exercise is akin to a warrior donning armor, not in the hope of battle, but in preparation for any eventuality. Marcus Aurelius, a sage well-versed in the unpredictability of life, would have us use negative visualization as a tool for emotional equanimity. The art of living is more like wrestling than dancing, he remarked, implying that we must be ready to meet challenges with agility and strength, not be upended by the unexpected turns of fate. By practicing negative visualization, we inoculate ourselves against the shock of misfortune. We learn to say, I knew you might come, to the specters of loss, failure or criticism. This foresight allows us to maintain our composure and to act with deliberation when others might despair. As you envision the hurdles you may encounter, do so with the knowledge that you are not summoning these fates but arming yourself against them. Let this stoic visualization be a beacon that guides you through the storm, a reminder that you possess the inner fortitude to withstand life's tempests. 10. End with gratitude, reflecting on the day's gifts. In the Stoic tradition, gratitude is the cornerstone upon which a contented life rests. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Cicero, a philosopher who predated the formal Stoic school, once said, This sentiment resonates deeply with Stoic thought, which holds that appreciating what we have is essential to our well-being. To delve deeper into the practice of ending with gratitude is to understand that it is an act of reflection, a conscious acknowledgement of the day's blessings, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. It is a moment to pause and consider the myriad ways in which the world has bestowed its gifts upon us, from the air we breathe to the people we love, from the challenges that strengthen us to the joys that uplift us. Marcus Aurelius, who often reflected on the good in his life, 
would have us look back on the past with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. In this reflection, there is a recognition of the cyclical nature of life and a deep sense of connection to the continuum of human experience. Seneca, with his practical approach to philosophy, would remind us that gratitude is an antidote to discontent. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, he wrote. By focusing on the present and the gifts it holds, we free ourselves from the shackles of longing and dissatisfaction. As we end our day, let us do so with a heart full of gratitude. Let us recount the lessons learned, the kindness received, and the beauty witnessed. In this recounting, we weave a tapestry of thankfulness that envelops our lives, providing warmth and light even in the darkest of times. So, as the sun sets and the stars take their place in the night sky, let us offer thanks for the day that has been. For in gratitude, we find a wellspring of joy, a fortress of peace, and the truest expression of the Stoic spirit. As we conclude our journey through the Stoic morning routine, we hope that the wisdom imparted here serves as a beacon to guide you through the ebb and flow of daily life. May the tenets of Stoicism enrich your days with purpose, resilience, and tranquility. We invite you to join our community of seekers and practitioners of this profound philosophy. If you found value in our discourse, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Your support is the cornerstone of our shared exploration of wisdom. Moreover, we encourage you to share your reflections and experiences in the comments below. Engage with us, challenge us, or simply tell us about your journey with Stoicism. Your perspectives are invaluable, and together we can foster a space of growth and understanding. Remember, the path of Stoicism is one we tread together, and every step is an opportunity for connection and learning. So, until our next philosophical sojourn, we bid you peace and progress on your path.